Alabama won the toss. They've elected to defer. Utah State will put its offense on the field to start. Will Riker, the senior from Hoover, Alabama, will get us started. And Terrell Vaughn is back to receive for the Aggies of the Mountain West Conference. And we are underway in T-Town. No return for the Aggies. Calvin Tyler Jr. is his running back, and they will throw on first down. And that is down the sideline to Brian Cobbs. And 15 Turner, sure, to get the benefit of the attention will go to Anderson. Third and 11, and they will try to run it up the middle and not have much luck. A three-yard gain for Utah State. But you're right, Bryce Young still as comfortable as ever and confident in that group in front of him. Jermaine Burton was in motion. They kick it outside to the freshman, Kobe Prentice. And Prentice is able to come up just short, but a flag at the tail end. Personal foul, face mask on the defense, number 27. He just looked like a different guy on the practice field to me, Tom. And he wants to throw here. Pressure coming. Young sidesteps it. And is able to get it away, complete for a first down. He threw it through traffic to find Holden. A pickup of 15. No. They call that the Prowler package. Third and three now. Pressure. Young gets hit as he throws, and it goes incomplete. 45-yard attempt for Will Reichert. And that one will curl inside the upright. Alabama able to score on its opening possession, but held to a field goal. Utah State, one of the most successful in the country last year, outside the numbers. And he heaves that one incomplete through it. 20 yards past his receiver. For that, that's a guy that he looks up to. He loves watching him play. Has time. And on the run, delivers a strike. Four-man rush and wide open is Prentice. He finds some open space and takes it for a gain of 16. And you think about a lot of cool things Bryce Young's forgotten to do in the last four or five months. Midway through the first quarter, second drive for Alabama. It's Prentice again, and the freshman takes it down to the five. Saban told us yesterday he was on a pitch count, only about 20 reps. So Oots in there tied in now. Less of a receiving threat. Young dances. Fires, end zone, caught! Touchdown, Alabama! Jermaine Burton. See if they decide to bring pressure here at a safety cap in. There it comes on third and six. That is caught by McGriffin. He has stopped short of the line to gain. Dallas Turner. They're all and one on fourth down last week. Five man rush to the edge. Incomplete. And Alabama's going to have. Sensational field position. Change of possession inside the 40. The play action. Rice goes deep. It is incomplete. Flag down on the coverage of Jermaine Burton. Pass interference on the defense number 22. That's one of those throws that they won't miss that next time. That was their first play with 12 personnel with two tight ends in the game. Here's Gibbs to the outside. And he's knocked out of bounds. We were at practice last week and going good versus good. He's going to be working in man coverage. Bryce Young sees it, just said something in that direction. Second and goal. Quick hitter to the slant and to the end zone. Touchdown, Treshawn Holden for nine yards out. With a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown in all three halves. Okay. Oh boy. Wow. Oh. Will Anderson doing damage. Since then, smooth sailing. Young wants to go deep over the middle. Coming back for it is Holden. And Holden gang tackled after a pickup of 16. Life slowed down. Quick hitter to Prentice. And he made the first man miss before taking it to midfield. On a debut for the freshman, already 60 yards on five catches. And now Gibbs. Powers his way to nine. Toss to Gibbs. Full head of steam. 
And he picks up six. There's a prowler look, only one defender with a hand on the ground. Third and 12. Rice with a chance to run for it. They'll tuck it, pick it up, and he gets taken down from behind. 11th play of the drive for Alabama. Touchdown! Bryce Young finds Jermaine Burton for the second time tonight. And he'll try to run it, and they cut him down. And that will put Utah State in a punt situation. Bryce Young with play action again. Pressured. Scrambles away from it. He's had a couple of big runs tonight. Now he's got the sideline. Here goes Bryce Young in the open field. Little stutter step back inside. And he makes his moves all the way down to the 15. It's a 63-yard scramble. Pressure from the edges. He's got man this side. That's complete. A spin first down. Touchdown, Trayshawn Holden. Fourteen yards. Cooper Lega, junior from Orem, Utah. He was the MVP of the Jimmy Kimmel L.A. Bowl, and his first pass is blown up. Lega facing a third and nine. Pressure. And he will scramble. Laga got hit just short. And we'll see where the spot comes. It looks like the head linesman has it as a first down. And man coverage across the board. Somebody's got to separate. Too high and through the hands of Xavier Williams. Fourth and three. Utah State will punt it away. And that one will hop out of bounds to the Alabama sideline. Grandpa. But 31 0, so it don't have to be perfect. There's Miles Kitzelman, sophomore from Linden, Kansas, by way of Hutchinson Junior College. Fake to Prentice, and they'll run it with Roydell Williams, and he's got a gash. Here's McClellan. Got forward for the first down. Young sneaks it out of the backfield with a flag on the play. Williams is able to pick up five. Holding on the defense number six. Well, Kentucky with a ten point lead in Lex. Young gets away to the far side. And that's good for another Alabama first down. It goes for 13 yards. Got to match that here on third and goal. Pocket collapses and they take him down. First sack of the night. It's Daniel Greshik, Nevada transfer. 33 yard attempt for Will Riker. And that one is true. Alabama 34, Utah State nothing. But I think he loves new and innovative ideas that he can add to a scheme that's similar to his. On second and ten, they try to run it, and Calvin Tyler swallowed up. It'll be a loss of two. Deontay Lawson. He's going to have a much bigger role. I think he's primed to step into it. Throwing on second and ten. Oh, great catch! But then Trayshawn Holden got folded in half, held onto it, gained a 17. Wow, great job at the point of the catch of securing that to his stomach before the contact with pressure coming as Young throws it wide and there's a flag after he went down personal foul roughing the passer on the defense number zero with target oh. after the penalty will scramble another big run for Bryce Young and he takes it down inside the 10. That's a marimba. I'll show you at halftime. Cuts like a xylophone. Yeah. Young flicks it out, and Jace McClellan takes it in. Fifth touchdown pass of the first half for Bryce Young. 15 seconds to play in the half. Utah State has gone to its second string quarterback, Cooper Legoff, for the last few drives. Nothing doing with Logan Bonner, their well traveled starter. His seventh year of college football, three of nine. Lagarde, three of four. But the story, Bryce Young, his second five-touchdown pass half. Uh, yeah.
a little surprised he came out here after half. I know they're working with a lot of young receivers out there, and Jermaine Burton, even a guy that want to build chemistry. Uh -oh. Wow, how about this for chemistry? There's one hit, and Jameer Gibbs with the cutback, then a stiff arm, and he's inside the 10. I don't know if he ever went down. Young. Touchdown. Georgia scored on its first seven possessions and hammered Oregon 49 to 3. Third and 11. Coming out of the timeout, nowhere to run. Calvin Tyler Jr., no gain. Anthony Richardson, one of the most talented players, dual threat quarterbacks in the entire country, having a big day in Utah. Cole, we were talking about it. To me, Utah is still, it's a close game, but still a team I expect to be in and at the end, if not a playoff team. Jermaine Burton still in the game. McClellan is tailback, and he'll dump it off to Burton, who's got room to run. It's an Alabama first down. Cole, what do we expect out of Jalen Milrow tonight? Melro puts it in McClellan's belly. And he's got the sideline. Just crunching down there. Looking for the screen, and he fits it to McClellan. And McClellan takes it in. Jalen Melro with the touchdown pass for Alabama. Specialty packages for Williams. Now get a chance to air it out on third and five. And it is incomplete. Nearly hauled in by Nana Davis. He's out of Etowah High School here in Alabama. Bammer averaging eight and a half yards per play. Milrow gets it out. Trey Sanders. Second and three now. Uh-oh. Going deep. Intercepted! Ike Larson with the takeaway. Great recovery by Larson and cut right in front of Christian Leary. Following, following the change of possession, illegal block in the back on the defense number 48. It's a shuffle, but uh, I thought you had just a big one. Pull it off Napster. Running I'll room for CD Terrell for Vaughn. That was more of a lime wire kind of guy. <laughs> A little hurdle right into the waiting arms of DJ Dale. Anthony Richardson looking to lead the Gators to a major upset week one. Wow, there's a big hit. Ike Larson delivers another knock. They just picked up a first down in Gator territory, guys. Oh, what a game in the swamp right now. And Terrell Vaughn. With the catch running. He, he's the one that's a little more dynamic with his feet, has a big old arm. Not as proficient at running everything. They have two backup quarterbacks who were each MVP of their bowl game last year. Yep. Third down one. The throw it, it's incomplete. They go zone read to the top here. Yep. And Williams keeps it. He's got the first down and escorted out of bounds at the end of that run after a pickup of nine. Stetson Bennett threw for 368 a couple of touchdowns. That was in one SEC pack. The ball's loose and it is fallen on by Utah State. And you want to believe it. You want to believe it, but you don't truly believe it till you see the product on the field, till you see the changes in action, not just in practice. It's a good looking throw. It's something that Bryce Young told us yesterday. That Pressure coming. Tipped and incomplete. 90% of offenses in the country don't let their quarterback control protection. So, oh, they get blocked. Utah State came after Burnup. And they're able to get a hand on it. And the Aggies will have great field position now. My earpiece was like up by my eye. I was trying to fish it out as I was walking back to the huddle. Also, I had no idea where I was. Third and one, and that is incomplete. Better than your ear being up by your eye. Yeah. 
Here you go. Utah State going for it on fourth and one. Cooper Lagat, quarterback. Here comes the pressure from the edge, and the Aggies pick up the first down. Needing 10. You get four. Utah State does want the field goal down 55 to keep the offense on the field. Needing seven. There's a shot to the end zone. And incomplete. And a flag down. Not on Davis. Defended by Brian Branch. Well. There is no foul for pass interference. The ball was uncatchable. Became a guy that worked in the sports information department here in Alabama. We're going to work for the Tuscaloosa News. That's the only place that he would spend his entire career covering the Crimson Tide for multiple decades and did it better than anyone. A national writer that a lot of people really knew, loved, and respected. If you, if you don't know what you are supposed to be doing and you make a mental mistake, then you don't need to be on the field. Pete Golding, there's a horse collar tackle, was was not more forgiving about it, but he was more understanding that young players are going to make mistakes. Personal foul, illegal horse collar tackle on the defense. We've talked a lot about the secondary, right? Uh, that's one of the things that a lot of guys rotating on the outside. They're going to be tested. Second and 12. Finally lost to one of his assistants last year when Jimbo got him. Yeah, he can Whatever happened with that relationship? Ah, well, I think Netflix is doing a documentary about it. <laughs> 30 for 30. It will be on ESPN. And Paul Feinbaum has a book coming out about it. That's right. 55 nothing is the final Bryce Young five touchdowns all in the first half through for 195 and he ran for more yards in this game than he did all of last season big win for Bama Nick Saban is with